All right, this is problem 4.48. And again, your values might be slightly different given whatever your uh, mastering physics renders it as. But mine says a snowball is thrown with an initial x velocity, so v not x, of 7.5 meters per second. And an initial y velocity of 8.2 meters per second, so v not y is 8.2 meters per second. Part A asks, how much time is required for the snowball to reach its highest point? And it has a hint, the highest point of the projectile corresponds to the time when v final in the y direction is zero. So we can take a look at this problem. I can just ignore the v naught x, the initial x velocity, because while it travels in a parabola, that is true, I'm only really interested in this change in height at the apogee. The x is going to keep going the same x speed the whole time. The y, though, the y is what's changing, and the y is what's going to dictate time of flight. The x is kind of just along for the ride. So I actually have a pretty straightforward kinematics problem here. I'm given an initial velocity in the y direction of 8.2 meters per second. And I happen to know I'm on Earth, so my acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.8 meters per second square. I know my v final, too, with respect to y. It's zero because I'm going to the apogee, which just leaves me with the time factor. The easiest equation to solve this with is v final y equals v initial y plus acceleration times time. Because the only thing I don't have is acceleration, and I have the other three terms. You know, I've got this guy, this one, and this one. So I can solve for t because I have the three unknowns. So let's do that really fast. I have my v final, which is 0, equals my v initial 8.2 plus my negative 9.8 gravity times time. That is to say, I have a negative 8.2 equal to a negative 9.8t, or a negative 8.2 over a negative 9.8 equals time, which I can come over really quickly and use my calculator and say 8.2 divided by 9.8 is time equal to 0 0.83, 0 0.84 seconds, depending on how you want to round it. And I have a final answer. The x doesn't matter. I don't have to do anything with vectors. All I need to do here is solve for the y time to apogee, and I've gotten the question which is what was being asked, which is how long does it take to get to the top of its flight? That's all there is to this one.